Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today is a, another um, project share um, for Scrap Diva Designs. Um, here is all of Erica's information. Make sure you follow along the hashtag Scrap Diva Designs for tons of inspiration. Here's her website. I'll have everything linked below for you guys to make it easier to find everything. So today I'm going to share with you a couple different dies um, that I used. So first off, I used this um, large set right here, which is called the Armoire Tag Die Set. Okay, so it's to be a tag, but you can make tons of different things with it. People are making boxes and all different kinds of things. So really, really fun. This is a very um, tall die. I think it's about... Um, yeah, it's about nine inches tall and it is about let's see it's about three about three and a half inches wide okay so i use this die first off and this is what i made with it so i think it came out really pretty so I didn't make a tag. I, I didn't know what I was gonna make with it first. I just kind of just started putting it together and then I decided um, to do something other than a tag. Um, so what I did was made mine, mine is a, um, like an easel card. So you can see on the side, it's got, it, it's strapped together with, um, so it doesn't, you can stand it up. So you give it to somebody, you can stand up on their desk or a shelf or whatever, and it stays like that. Okay, so um, I layered it up, um, the doors open, okay, and inside I layered up some more of the pattern paper inside, and then I used this um, stamp set from last year from Scrap Diva. She's got a Valentine stamp set one and two. I have both of these. The one I used right here is Love is in the Air. And I just stamped it on a heart and then put it in there so when they open the doors, you know, to the armoire, love is in the air. Okay. And I just decorated it um, on the outside. This is the Scrap Diva little um, Cupid um, uh, die. This was from last year also. That was part of, it's right here. It is part of, Oh, let's see. It's part of the um, heart arrow, heart arrow set. So super cute. So I use that there as part of the decoration. Okay, and then I just for my handles, it comes with like two little handles that you can use on the set, and there also some kind of like you know swirly type decorations for the top. I didn't use either of those. I just put like little um, pink um, heart gems to kind of look like the handles for the for the drawers and for the doors. And then um, if you're not aware, I'm using the um, Heart Eyes um, collection from Simple Stories on these projects right here. So there's some chipboard pieces. And and then um, this is a sticker, this is my sweetheart. This is a sticker from the sticker sheet from it. I love to use those. And I also <laughs> used another die from last year's yeah, it was from last year's. Um, another die set from Scrap Diva, um, which I love, I use all the time. This little flag thing. These are called pin flags. Pin flags, yeah, is the name of the set. So I use that to cut it out. And then I love to use those little um, stickers, you know, peel off stickers at the bottom that come with a, lo a lot of the paper collections, especially Simple Stories always has it at the bottom of their, um, of their sticker sheet so I just um, added one of those onto there and then this is, this is a button it was a button brad I cut off the brad part and just used it there and I just thought it was pretty this is an old um, kind of like a puffy vinyl type heart I had my stash for a long time match so I went put that there um, up here I've used this is the um, scrap diva um, double loop bow love this bow I did get it in my design team package. I think it was before I started um, on the design team. So I just love it though, it's my favorite one. So I ordered it and so I use the medium size. It comes in three sizes in the pack and I use the medium size one right here for this for this die. 
so I think it turned out really pretty. And then I punched a hole up here and put a heart bread or heart eyelet. And then I just attached a little tassel that I had to my stash. And then this is a, um, a bead charm that somebody gifted me. So I thought that looked pretty. So I just added those two things on there. So I think it turned out really pretty. I used a pink 110 for the, for the back, um, for the base. So I just stamped my stamp on the back. And again, you can see the little piece of, it's just kind of a white, um, really kind of like see-through type ribbon I put there just to hold it. I did stamp Happy Valentine's Day inside, um, just so there was, you know, it was in there, but how pretty is that just to make a cute little, um, like easel type card. So, or it doesn't have to really be a card, it can be a decoration. I could, um, add, you know, stamp something else back here on the back. Um, if I wanted to, um, but it just makes such a pretty little, you know, um, decorative piece and a card at the same time. So love that. Okay. So there's that one. And then I also put together the heart jelly bag. Love this. It's so cute. You have your base piece that you cut out twice. You have the, um, let me show you this. So here's your front and back. So you cut this twice. These are your sides. It's got a little heart cut out. So you cut two of these, one for each side. And then you have your um, base piece for the bottom. Okay, and then you have your stitch layering piece to, to cover it once you get it all together. Okay, and then it also comes with the um, this heart that um, you can layer up right here, um, which can make it a shaker if you want to, or can just be to, you know, accent and that. So that is that. So this, this um, bag is a little bit smaller than her previous bags. Um, so let me show you what I created. And I'll kind of compare and show you the difference in size. So um, again, I'm using hard eyes. Um, and so I have two sides here that are kind of the heart paper. And then I use this pretty striped one for my sides and for my bottom and then for the inside. Okay. I use that layering piece up here and I cut out the black and white striped paper. And what I did was string a piece of um, this uh, string twiny type stuff um, in between. And then I put a bead on it. So these beads will go, they slide back and forth. You could put more on, you know, if you wanted to. Um, I just thought it looked cute. Just kind of a, you know, just fun way to kind of like suspend something there in between the, in between, you know, inside the heart. So I thought that turned out really cute. And then, like I say, um, I just sandwiched the string in between the base piece and the layering piece. So I think that turned out really pretty. And then I also used on this the new um, Valentine banner set. Love this. So it's um, it's a little three three piece banner, um, and it's got the typical um, type. Uh, what do you call it? Like banner type uh, shape down here, and then um, the bows on the side. There's all kinds of layering pieces. There's a stitch layering piece to go on top here and there's also a stitched smaller piece so you can layer it like three times. You can layer the bows, there's a, a same size bow, there's a smaller bow, and then there's some just plain, uh, you know, the top part bow without the tail. Um, little hearts, so lots of different layering pieces. This is a smaller one than before. She had a, um, one last year, I believe. I don't think I pulled that one out to compare, but it's bigger and the bot and the shape of it is like a, a triangle. Um, rather than this kind of banner type shape. So this one's a little bit smaller banner. It's approximately four inches um, across. So anyway, I decided to go ahead and make it. I have it super layered, all different kinds of layers on there. So I layered it up. Um, I cut one layer and then I layered up the um, stitched bigger size layer right here, the pink. So the pink is on top of the pink. And then here's the smaller stitched, it, um, it's, not, it's not scalloped as you can tell. So then I layered that on top. All of them are popped up on foam. 
Okay, and I did the same with the bows. So you got my base layer pink, then there's the big pink base layer, uh, layer pieces again. And then what I did was put layered up for the third layer, I put the smaller bow on top. Okay, and then I just took some of these beads. I just, I kind of like a, you, you guys might have noticed a lot, a lot of my projects have kind of like a little white, uh, black and white like accent somewhere in it. I just really like the looks of that. And so um, a lot of my projects have that. So that's kind of like what I did, why I did the beads and then what I have the black and white stripe there. And then do the same thing here. Other than this one, I kind of, so I have it, you know, draped up here and then kind of down here to the edge. So all I did for this one was cut off the bow on this other side, just tucked it up under there. And then what I use for the, I have the letters um, on top there. So this one says hug and then love. And that I used, um, See, I think I got it. Yeah, so from last year's, um, it's called Valentine Pennant set. It was these flags with the poles and everything. So what I did was, because these were, you know, it's a tiny, pretty tiny little spot, but I wanted to put some letters on there. So what I used was I cut out some of these words, um, the letters that I needed, like you, and um, there was hugs, and so I just used hug. And then for the love, I just cut out the love one and then I just use the U from here. So, you know, I just cut that out in red and just piece those on top. So I think it turned out really cute. So use that die set on there too. And then I just added this pretty little um, foil type puffy heart um, that I had in my stash, you know, as also as another little embellishment piece. So I think that turned out so cute and I love the banner. The banner is so cute. So, so cute. Um, let me show you the comparison in size. So here's a previous um, jelly bag, the Jelly Toad, and this is the other one compared to it. Okay, so not as tall. It's just, let's see, let's look at the bottom. So the bottom is, um, it's about maybe like a half inch. Um, shorter across and then it's probably let's see the depth is you know closer to an inch smaller and then you know you can see the height wise it's probably two inches uh, inch and a half maybe shorter so that's kind of the um, the size difference between the two so this is really fun too so uses for you know, for all of them, of course. And this, this is still a good size area that you can stick stuff in there. So I think that turned out really cute. Love it. I made one more banner here that I didn't add on any place yet. So this one, I put the word you on it. And this one, I have like a light blue um, type um, base. And then all different layers of the layering pieces added on and then the little beads again I think that turned out so cute so that's my share for today and um, I will link all of these that I used um, I, I, I would imagine all the other ones from last year would still be available but so if they are I'll link them if they're not I won't um, but I'm I, I would think there'd probably be kind of a staple that she would keep in her in her store so but I did not check beforehand so anyway I don't know what do you guys think I think they turned out pretty cute and yeah so if you guys have any questions leave them down below and I like I said I will link everything link to the shop link to my affiliate link link to all the dies that I use my um discount code make sure to use that if you guys decide to pick anything up it'll save you 10 percent off and thank you so much for watching thank you so much of those of you that do use my coupon code i super appreciate it it's very nice of you and it's very helpful so anyway thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you on the next one bye